It's an important day today in the government's efforts to combat the cost of living crisis, as we've been hearing. £326 being issued to some 8.2 million households. It's the first tranche of a special payment. But should there actually be more assistance? Well, a charity in London stepping in to help combat the uh, ongoing problems by offering people a free financial meeting. Now, Debt Free London offers the public uh, advice on everything from tackling debt to how to pay the rent. Our reporter, Rosie Wright, uh, has more for us. Uh, Rosie, you're down at Peckham High Street. It's quite interesting, this, because financial advice normally only available to those who are, well, rather well healed, should we say. Yes, you would think so. But today, through a variety of different organisations, I've been speaking to people whose charitable organisations are based around the ethos of giving people those really, really struggling with the cost of living. And I'm not talking about here sort of cutting back on some of those luxury items in the supermarket, but people in real financial difficulty. Variety of organisations providing free financial advice and often helping them come up with plans to get them out of debt. I was at Debt Free London this morning and they said one of the advisors I spoke to said, I've really had to reevaluate what I think of when I think of low income households because some of the people that she'd been speaking to in recent weeks were doctors, teachers, people looking at their incomings and their families and thinking, we just can't make ends meet. Well, today has been quite a crucial day. £650, the first instalment of it, £326, landing in the bank accounts of nearly 8 million, just over actually 8 million people. Well, just a few hours ago, I was in Lewisham at a Christians Against Poverty debt centre and I met Alan, who's received that payment this morning, and I asked him how significant it was to receive it. It, it is significant in the sense that it helps me on the short term, uh, but I'm a single person uh, by myself, so uh, my, my, my needs are less than, than a full family running gas and electric and, and a go-go, you know? So for them, from like my sister, my mum, who's an OAP, yes, it's very much harder. It's, it's, that's, but, oh, that's, the, that's the way of life. Alan is in debt and he said actually what this payment will allow him to do is just buy a couple of those extra luxuries and for him a luxury was things like buying a haircut, getting ice cream at the supermarket so he could have a special dessert. Now we might think those are absolute essentials, not luxuries. Well I spoke to Mel as well, she's one of the debt advisors and she said this might help people in the short term but in the long term it's not really sufficient. Um, I think it's good news and welcome. we welcome it. Um, I think it's really helpful, but it's not helpful in their long-term budgeting problems or how tight it is when you're on a low income. So more of a regular payment would be better for people long-term, I think. When you talk about people being on low income, what kind of financial situations are people in, the type of people who will receive that payment today? Um, they could be in debt. So a lot of our clients are, come to us because they're in debt or they're just struggling to make ends meet and um, it's just really tight, it's just a tight budget and it can be really hard to live like that long term. Yeah. So the first instalment lands in bank accounts today. It's automatic if you are eligible and you receive your benefits and you apply, then it will just automatically turn up in your bank account. But from what I've been hearing today, for the people who really are grappling with the cost of living, this helps a little bit, but it for sure isn't enough.